Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. There's Kathy McLeland's website if you want to check it out, of course. Feel free to freeze frame and check it out. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich. There's a website down there, hayhouse.com. Hay House is still around. You might have to use a search engine to find Hay House because it might have they might have updated their website. I'm not sure. It's an older, like that's a good 20 years at this point. <laughs> good 20 years, but hey, still, you know. All right, what do we have for Aries? Um. I feel like I have to get these all out before I know if this is really. We got to talk it out. We got to talk it out. What do we got to. Is this for you? You got this at the bottom, which a lot of times to me feels like. It feels like the magician really does a lot. And it, I feel like in this situation, it's questioning, like, you're creating something, but the closer you get to it, it's more of the question, like, now that you're really seeing what it is, and you did create it, and you did want it at one point, and you see more of it now than you did before, and do you really want this? Do Is this something you really want? Before you really commit to it, do you really want it? And I feel like they're saying, pull back a minute. Because you did create, and you are coming into something. But before you just kind of like, well, I made it happen, so you know I didn't go, come this far just to give up. Before you get that far, really double check your true interest in this. Because whatever it is you're going towards, you are going to lock into it for a long time. They're just saying, before you do that, it kind of feels like either like a, buying a significant piece of property or even... Could be for some of you, could be a marriage thing, could be a job, but the job might entail like a move. Something about this is it feels like you created something and it's like, well, I went this far. I mean, you know, I didn't come this far because I didn't want it. But it's kind of like, it's like, I feel like if this is one of those things where I feel like I've said this to people, like what you've gone through so far is actually the good part. And if you look at it that way, how does that make you feel about what's in front of you? So, like, when you look back, like, yeah, well, what I've done is really good, and I really like what I've done. It was a lot of fun. That was really the good part. The rest of it might not be as fun, but still fun. Okay, great. But some people, like, I say that to them. I'm like, what you've done already is the good part. And they're like, well, what, what I've done so far has been a lot of, you know, torture. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, that was the good part. <laughs> so if you keep going, you're going to get to the end of it and realize that that was the good part. Just keep that in mind. So it's kind of like the fool here is saying, don't don't just go forward saying, I'm going to make it better from here forward if it's been tr tough up to this point. What you've done so far was the good part. So it, it's hard for some people because sometimes we get that far and we think, no, I've gone this far, I've done the work, now it should get better. And it's kind of like, well, that's not always how life works. <laughs> sometimes you get through that far and you're like, okay, now it gets better. Like, no, that was the good part. Um, that was the good part. Because I feel like if you step back a little bit, what are you going to see if you step back a little bit? Just a little bit. This is just where you're sorting out your thoughts, what you think. The moon and the two of pentacles. And you also have this. Don't get caught up in the gender. But this is someone who, like, Aries is usually pretty good at making sure that you're included in the benefits. You know, like, you're not here to, to, for everybody to benefit. You're a part of it, and you honor those who honor you. Usually Aries is pretty good. Like, you're not just going to give away all your free time for nothing. You're making sure that you're benefited as much as everybody else, and you should. Um, I feel like that's a good thing. If you're included in the bounty, great. That's perfect. And it's at this point where it's kind of like, I feel like you have been included in the bounty of the situation. But what we want to step back and ask ourselves is how much did you have to fight to make sure you were included? Are people naturally just including you? 
Did you just have to teach them that in the beginning to make sure you're included and they stuck with it after? Or is it kind of like, it just seems like, it seems like I should be included more at the moment than I actually am. And that I, I look at this like I'm going to make that more balance in my favor later. And it's kind of like, a, in truth, it's just like it just seems to get harder and harder to make sure you get your benefit out of the situation. I don't think it's bad that, you know, people benefit from a situation. I don't. Um, like when, if we drain something down and just deplete it, that's not good either. But when I feel your energy in this, it's kind of like I put in, I get out. I'm not showing up just to be used. I'm showing up to get to get a bounty from this. But like I don't see you just depleting the situation. I see you understanding. I have to give to get. I have to give to get. I have to give to get. And you do put in the appropriate amount of effort. But it's kind of like how much do you have to struggle to make sure you get out what you deserve? And do you really feel like at this point you're getting out what you deserve or do you expect it to come more your way later? For some people, I feel this and I hate this, um, but it's the truth. It's like having that job where they're like, one day your time will come. Just keep doing your job and keep doing good for the company and keep doing this. One day it'll all come your way too. And that day may not actually come. It may be just something to keep you moving. I just feel like it's one of those things where it's kind of like, oh, one day you'll have your turn. Just keep going at it. Keep going at it. One day you'll have your turn to win out too. And that may not be the truth. You just make it, you put in a lot of effort and you keep trying and trying and trying. And then the day when the company's supposed to pay you back, they went under. <laughs> they went under and you didn't get crap. Or management changed or somebody sold the business and the people now in control are like, I don't owe you anything. Thank you for doing what you did, but I didn't own the business at that point, so I don't understand why you think I owe you anything. And that might literally happen. So keep that in mind. Just keep it in mind. What, you're de what are you dependent on to make sure this goes your way? Because I'm getting, the closer I get to it, there's something changing here. They're warning you that there's a big change in this situation. I'm going to use another analogy that's kind of brutal. It is kind of brutal. The beauty with the world. I've seen people do this. I, I call it like the honeymoon. The honeymoon, uh, the, faux hon the faux honeymoon. The honeymoon fool is actually what I call it. The honeymoon fool. Where somebody just, they want to, for example, get married. So they are a certain, they act a certain way. They do certain things until they're married. And then the truth comes out. Because in their mind, well, now that they're married, now that we got married, you're stuck with me, so you can't do anything about it. I got my goal. I did what I had to do up until that. I didn't really want to, but I wanted to get married. Now that I've gotten my goal, let me be who I truly am. And then the truth comes out. And then it's kind of like, well, now that we got you, now you're trapped. It's an ugly, it's an ugly analogy. It's not like it doesn't happen. It's just not pretty to think about. But sometimes people do that. People do this with jobs sometimes. They only act a certain way to get what they want. And once they get what they want, then the true, the truth of who they are comes forward. Um, there's a lot of like weird energy around this. Like the devil is here. The feeling trapped is here. The five of cups is here. The, the feeling like they get you bound. Somebody feels like they get you bound into something. And they know your rules. And they know how to work your energy. Whoever this is knows how to work your energy. Some people are very, very tricky. And they, they just understand. They just, there's manipulators out there. I mean, I'm sorry, but there are. And even the best of us can get taken for a ride by a really talented, talented manipulator. Um, rabbit ears on that one, right? There might be a bit of manipulation here. But I feel like if you step back, you'll see it. And what happens is if you step back and you really start asking yourself certain questions, you'll then do the due diligence to find out what's really this, what is this really made of? Because the moon card is there, but it's kind of like, I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to slow this down. And I'm going to like, I don't want to be the fool. I don't want to be the fool in this. So I'm going to start looking at it. I'm going to kind of like debunk this so I'm not the fool anymore. I'm going to turn that upside down. What are you going to find? If you do that and you debunk this, what are you going to find if you try to debunk it? You got the... Uh, 
you got the Page of Pentacles and you got the Hierophant. Certain things, I feel like it's almost like if I look at this situation and I look at other people's history with it, I start realizing that my history is matching other people's history here too. And I'm understanding where they've been is where I currently am. And where they are is where I'm destined to be if I'm not careful. And I don't like where they are. There's some type of reference here. I'm using a lot of weird analogies, so I'm trying to be careful with this. I feel like it's almost like somebody got out of a bad relationship and said, this person is physically abusive, so that's why I left them. And other people are like, that's not true. And they never exhibit that out front. And you're like, well, they haven't been. They're a little bit, I mean, they throw things, but they, they've they never hit me with something. And they've never physically hit me, but they throw things. By the way, in a relationship, if somebody's throwing things or breaking things around you or near you, even though they physically might not, not touch you, it's not much of a difference from them changing from hitting that object to hitting you. I'm just saying. But anyway, it's kind of like the warning signs are probably there, but other people have said stuff and you're like, well, maybe it was just a mistake. And there's like more than one person. It's kind of like... You can see where that ended up. You can see how these other people have given you heads up about how this situation works. It's kind of like maybe we should step back and think about this a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit more, a bit more. I was gonna call it a bin it, but um, do we want to bin it? Do we want to throw it in the bin? I don't know because I'm seeing this card and I think this is what's bothering me. Is this really worth it? When you really push into it, it's kind of like what this looks like. I'm gonna end up with. Do I really want this? The advice card is to let go, if this isn't exactly what you want to let go. If this is exactly what you want, this reading shouldn't be hitting for it anyway. But if this isn't quite making sense and it's kind of like, oh, I, something feels off, but something doesn't really hit me right, look at what you're dealing with. Step back for a minute and really start thinking it out. Where, I'm, where I am, how much do I have to fight to stay where I am? And if I look at it as like, that was the best part. Where I am so far has been the best part. And it, this, the best part is where I've already been, not where I'm going. How do I feel about it then? Why, like, I see Aries as a changer, though, but, okay. Why would you get stuck with this? I feel the the Ace of Pentacles is being backed up by the, um, the hanged man, the hanged one, the hanged person, the hanged woman, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the Knight of Fire. Every time I try to get out of this after this point, it just gets that much harder. It just seems like there's more and more obstacles to help me get out. It's harder to get out of it. It's kind of like, for example, if this is a job thing, you get used to the money and you move into some type of lifestyle. You have a certain type of house. You got this to pay, that to pay. And you're like, well, unless I can find another job with this type of money, I'm going to have to give up some of these some of these things that I like. And I don't want to do that. It gets harder. This is the easiest time to step away if this is not for you. But they're saying step back and really think about it for yourself. You decide for yourself if this hits. If this doesn't, if this doesn't link up with you, if this doesn't seem right, then all right, move on. But they're saying if you if you have to fight to make sure that you get what you want out of this situation, it's kind of like it's not going to get easier from here forward. And there's a, there's something there's a truth coming forward later, and I feel like there's like there's red flags around it that the truth is lurking around you. Research those red flags. Research those red flags and how other people have had to deal with whatever this is. If you research those red flags, you will find the truth. And I also feel like if you find the truth, you're going to be like, well, this isn't for me. And you will you will dis disconnect from it. You may have gone this far. You may have done all this stuff with it. Maybe I've sunk in thousands of dollars into it. But even though I've sunk thousands of dollars, I don't need to send, sunk, sink 10 times as much into this before I learn my lesson. I realize this isn't working. And I'm going to cut my loss now. Um, I feel like they're saying just step back and rethink it before you go too much farther into it. Again, because if you get into it, you're going to get stuck into it for a while, probably years for most of you. But I'm also getting, if you're getting this reading, you don't have to do that. They're saying you do have free will. You could step out of this if you decide that's appropriate. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.